Since this channel is all about making things and learning new skills, I wanted to share with you while I'm the one learning a new skill. I was recently given the opportunity to get my hands on the Formart 2 Smart Vacuformer before they launched their Kickstarter campaign. And while I've had some experience with thermoforming, I wouldn't call myself an expert by any means. But this machine seemed really user-friendly, and so I happily accepted the chance to bring one into the shop and get some hands-on time with it. And I'm bringing you along with me. First things first, let's get this out of the box and take a look at it. I have to say, I'm really impressed by the build quality and it looks really cool too. I'm a sucker for good industrial design. After I got it out of the box and into its new home in the shop, I installed the exhaust plates, powered it up, and followed the prompts to prepare for its maiden voyage. It gives a quick systems check when you power it up, testing the vacuum pumps, blower, and heating element before you can start using it. Once that was finished, I selected the level of vacuum pressure from my mold, grabbed one of the included sheets of plastic, and set it into the frame. The Formart 2 immediately scanned the QR code sticker from the corner of the sheet and automatically loaded the correct settings based on the type of plastic I was using. I pressed the dial to confirm the settings, secured my sheet in the frame, and raised the tray until it locked into place with magnets below the heating element. While I waited for the plastic to begin to droop, I placed my model onto the exhaust plate. Of course, I had to start with something challenging, but completely on brand. And once it was in place, I just had to wait for the machine to let me know when the plastic sheet was ready. A few seconds went by and it was time to release the frame and pull the plastic sheet down over my model to let the vacuum do the rest of the work. Okay, let's see that again. The frame locks into place, creating a tight seal so that there's an even amount of suction around the part, and after a brief cooling period, a blower turns on to help release your part from the form. Surprisingly, the whole process only takes a few minutes start to finish. And as you can see, every detail is captured in the plastic, and fans of the Haunted Mansion will immediately recognize this effect. Full disclosure, the only other machines I've used have been of the homemade variety, and while they get the job done, they're just not as foolproof as this unit is, especially if you're inexperienced. You can't compete with how well this machine is made. It's a rock-solid platform that should require minimal maintenance, and as they make improvements to the software, it can be upgraded over USB. So as new materials and heating profiles are developed, the Formart 2 will always be up to date. All in all, I'd say this is a great machine for novices and experts alike. So if you want to know more about it, be sure to check out their Kickstarter campaign for more info. I'll leave a link in the description below. Well, that's going to do it for this one. Thanks for joining me while I learned more about vacuum forming. Be sure to subscribe for more videos, and as always, go make something.